Whoa, hey, welcome to Fun Boxing, or maybe today it's more like gun boxing, if you know what I mean, and I think that you don't. We got a special, and I mean extra special, and I mean double extra special. So special they got extra Hershey's dark miniature chocolates in the thing just to make up for all the extra specialness that is going on on a 25th anniversary edition of this figure, Gung Ho. And maybe, why Bob? Why? How come just the tank top today? Because just like this trusty G.I. Joe, we got nothing up our sleeves. <laughs> It's a little joke. Hey, uh, I might be a little bit biased towards the chest tattooed uh, G.I. Joe, but hey, it was the 80s when a tattoo was taboo. Bada bing, rock and rolling, strutting, strolling, slamming, jamming, clanging and banging, no stopping us with a hole in our heart and a pain in our pancreas. We got gung ho. We're going to take a look. All I'm going to learn about this character alongside with you. I might trip on my words, but hey, this is recording in the summertime where, as you can tell, it is heating up in here because you got to record video and audio with no AC. So let's get this bad boy open. Yo, show. Cobra couldn't be any more vile, but before we bust up his tanks, let's read this file. Actually, you know what? Uh, let's take a look at the 83 hindquarters here. It's busted up, unfortunately, in a new adventure coming up. You see Blowtorch doing his best to put out the damage. It's the 30th anniversary. I just got him. Um, I needed him to film, and I uh, couldn't wait to do a fun boxing, but I can recap, uh, I think, most of his 3,000 accessories that come with him and take a look at him later if the 12 of you who view these uh, really feel so inclined. So it doesn't... The 83 hindquarters, if you really care... Um, took up way too much space and storyline wise it kind of played its course but let's go back to gung ho that's why we're here we could talk about my adventures later all right here he is marine this gosh darn rootin tootin sharp shooting outlaw gyrene named gung ho his file name is lafitte etienne otter I don't know why I made him a pirate primary military specialty racondo that's right he is actually a specialty in G.I. Joe, other G.I. Joes. In this case, he is a primary military specialist in the G.I. Joe Rakondo, so he knows all about that guy. Secondary military specialty, jungle warfare. I was kidding about that previous thing. Birthplace, Fer de Lance, Louisiana. Uh, I know nothing about uh, Louisiana and the bayou and um, also New Orleans, which I'm, I know that's not the same part of the state, but um, I know very little, and as a kid, I actually thought his name was Gun Ho, because guns, G.I. Joe, etc., but I didn't understand the expression. Blah, blah, blah. Born into a large black swamp Cajun clan, Gung Ho moved to New Orleans and won reputation as a bare-knuckle brawler and knife fighter to be reckoned with. Joined the Marines at 18 and graduated top of class from boot camp at Paris Island. Attended Airborne School, Rakondo School. So there's a whole school dedicated to that Joe, but there's no 25th anniversary figure of him. And Marine Ordnance School, Qualified Expert, All NATO Infantry, Small Arms, and Most Warsaw Packed Infantry Weapons, XM76 Grenade Launcher. Good gravy. Do you get more G.I. Joe than Gung Ho? I'll mean, uh, rant on that later. Uh, his team members say, All Marines are crazy, generalization, but Gung Ho is the hairiest, scariest, craziest jarhead that ever scratched, kicked, and bit his way out of that hole in a swamp they call Paris Island. Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, let's turn this guy around. So as I was just saying, um, you know, G.I. Joe, you look at your, your top heroes, you got your Sergeant Slaughter, you got your Duke, you got your Scarlet, you got your Snake Eyes, and your Roadblock, but it doesn't get too much more G.I. Joe than Gung Ho now, does it? Uh, I... I was mistaken. I thought the vintage Gung Ho came out in 84. I think it was actually 83. I made an error. Um, this is a guy I wanted uh, for a while, but, you know, just uh, looking at prices, I waited till I got a, a little window opened up where a few bucks were shaved off, and I, I just jumped on it. Um, I can't... Oh, I can't get over this art. This is one of my favorite, and I, again, I know it's not Hector Garrido. I love uh, just the picture of Gung Ho here. He is, uh, guns are a-blazing. A lot of fans make fun of one of his early Sunbow appearances where he wore that same outfit in the snow because we needed to show off the tat. Okay, I hate to bust him out here, but I have been staring at him for two weeks. That's what I like to do. I keep him in a package for about two, three weeks. Um, with the exception of Blowtorch because I was blowing something up and he's a new figure. So, Gung Ho, my friend, I think it's time. Sorry, I forgot to take a look at the other guys on the back of the card. I think you're all familiar with these, uh... Pretty standard, pretty popular characters. And um, Sergeant's Flash, is he's there too. I'm kidding, I'm getting a Flash soon. Uh, yeah, that kills me every time I see the Cobra Red Ninja. For my heart uh, skips a beat. I'm like, oh, they got Jinx, and then they, they don't. Um, 
Yeah, but thankfully, I think I got all these folks. And again, in 1983, most of these figures wouldn't have even been on, wouldn't have even been on a card. Grenadier Destro, and on the left here, Serpentor in the top left, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Red Ninja would not be in there. But nevertheless, we are here. Sorry, guys, this must be the grenade launcher they were talking about. As I was talking, um, yeah, it fell out of my hands because it comes apart, as I'll show you in a second. And I'm pretty certain there wasn't another tiny small piece that came out of it, but I couldn't tell. Something might have just hit my leg. But anyway, I'll show you how this guy works right here. You pull it apart freakishly easily. Um, again, this is one of those things where the uh, the 25th, um, 25th anniversary figures were not meant to be really played with. I mean, it's one thing to take cool pictures of them and all the stop motion and stuff I was doing. Because that's not really smacking them around. But nevertheless... Uh, be careful with your Joes and your accessories. Uh, almost every one of these guys has a pistol of some sort. I don't know the specific name of it. I'm not a gun guy. And at this point, I, I can't tell the things apart. But just about everybody's a tiny black pistol of some sort and a holster, which obviously goes in there. See, I dropped it again. That cannot be good. And we got a little closer on our guy there. You see that the chest tattoo it's very faint it's supposed to be green looks a little grayish but you do get the idea they put giant abs on him and i love the the big uh, pectoral line that somehow goes through his neck I, I don't know what those muscles are that that are going around his neck there but they did have to make him jet they could have given him a little more bicep i like i think he looks good on the delts um not as much traps but uh he looks good with the delts he's mustachioed i'm assuming this hat is staying on um, and even if it did come off, in my world, it is staying on. So he's got some weaponry on the side here of his left leg. And a cool light uh, camo pants. Boots that look like they've been through uh, some action, which is good. You don't want them looking too shiny and new. And I don't think Gung Ho would like that anyway, especially when you're marching through the, the bio. He's got those pants tucked in deep there. There's the pistol and the holster, which I guarantee you is going to slide out like crazy. Let's turn him around. You see he's got a giant hole in his back where Cobra has shot him. No, wait, just a minute. That's not what that's for. And just taking a look at the rest of Gung-Ho over here. And take a look at his arms. I have him by his head. That should be very painful. So I have no idea how he's actually supposed to be holding his grenade launcher. I really hope I didn't drop a piece. And if you know more about this figure, let me know. I will be examining my carpet thoroughly that's mostly you most likely do not aim a grenade launcher at your kneecap i don't have any military experience myself but deductive reasoning and context clues do prevail in situations such as this um oh there we go well that's going to be fun to play with uh <laughs> overall i'm just in, i'm in love with the character and the look of the figure he does have a pistol let's see if he can hold that with some better luck and for my purposes, for the adventures I like to make, uh, he is a necessity. Yeah, you go. Well, okay. Well, there we go there. He can pull it uh, with his left hand and his right hand. Yeah, whatever. Well, there you go. He can pull it out of his right leg with his left hand. So Gung Ho is a classic character, and the roster does kind of feel naked without him. It's a shame he's never going to get to see a uh, complete 1983 hindquarters, but uh, there may be some other uh, structures in the works. Maybe they don't take up as much space, but maybe they're equally as cool. I don't know. Tell me what you want to see in the comments, and if there's anything else you want to see me, uh, fun box. The Queen of England is a lizard. Never give up, and stay till the fight's won. Yo-jo!